Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, it has trick 11 all the way to 22. Click on my channel and then click on my college website and download this workbook. Hey, in trick number 12, we're going to do date math. Yes, calculating who you're going to go out with on a date. No, no, that's not it. Date math. That's when we take dates like 1-1-2008 take another date and subtract them and figure out how many days are in between the two dates. Now look at this. Here's our example. Invoice due date. We want to calculate today's date and then figure out how many days are in between these two dates. How many days this invoice is past due. Now first, let's learn the keyboard shortcut for today's date. Control semicolon. No way. You never have to type in today's date again. Excel knows it. Control semicolon. Enter. March 5th, 2008. Now, all we have to do is if we want to figure out how many days are between two dates is take the later date and subtract from it the earlier date. Here we go. Equals the later date minus the earlier date. Control Enter. Now, in earlier versions, or here we can see it's 64 days this invoice is past due. In earlier versions of Excel, you would get, when you put that formula in, you would see a date format like that. Now, the question is, when you do that for the first time, you're like, what? 3, 4, 1900, that's not it. What you got to do is get rid of the formatting. So you go Control 1. That opens up the Format Cells dialog box. Click on the Number tab. Click on General. Click OK. You've erased all the number format and gotten back to General. Now I'm going to Control Z. There's a keyboard shortcut for going to General Format. It's Control Shift Tilde. Tilde is to the left of the number 1. You can see that I wrote that right there. That is amazing. No more taking out your calendar and counting on your fingers the days. Just subtract later or earlier from the later date. Now let's do another example. Your loan issue date is 1-1-2008, and the term on this loan is 90 days. How do we figure out the due date, the maturity date? Guess what? You just add them. Equals this plus this. No way. You can take a date and add a number, and boom, there it is. 90 days after 1-1-2008, 3-31-2008. Hey, you can calculate how many days you've been alive. Scroll down a little bit. Your birthday, 11-1-1962, that's my birthday. If I type today's date, but guess what? Here I don't want to do the keyboard shortcut for uh, actual text or a number date. I want to do a function equals today. Look at that. You put equals today with an two parentheses like that. That's called an argumentless function. That thing Every single time when I control enter, every single time I come back, that formula will tell me what today's date is. That way, when I open it up tomorrow, I'll see 3 6 2008. Now, how many days have I been alive? Equals the later date minus the earlier date. Enter. 16,561 days I've been alive. Now, how many years have I been alive? Equals those number of days divided by 365.25. Oh, yeah, the 0.25 is leap year. Enter. Looks like I've been alive for 45.3415469 days. All right, we'll see you next YouTube trick.